Hello, I'm Joe Wren. A trial date is set later this month for the 13-year-old boy charged in the shooting of his teacher and a fellow student at Noblesville Middle School. This morning, a magistrate judge scheduled the juvenile fact-finding trial for June 25th and 26th. The teen is being tried as a juvenile as required by state law. Indiana's voter roll purge system is on hold after a federal judge temporarily halted it. The judge's ruling says the state's method to delete voters likely violates federal law. Voter advocacy groups sued the state over an Indiana law that allows counties to immediately eliminate voters if they match up to registrations in other states. Judge Tanya Walton Pratt dismisses the state's argument that a voter's registration in another state notifies Indiana they want their registration eliminated. And Seven Oaks Classical School leaders say the Ellettsville Institution is the fastest growing charter school in the state. Seven Oaks opened in 2016 for students in kindergarten through eighth grade and plans to add 10th grade this year. We're growing um, exponentially is in the very lower grades so that uh, our, our greatest enrollment as it has been in the last couple years uh, are in kindergarten and first grade. The school is facing a lawsuit from a group of public education advocates. The lawsuit alleges the charter's authorization from Grace College violates laws that prevent religious institutions from exercising government functions. Now, English says he expects the lawsuit to conclude by the end of the year. Here's a quick check of the forecast for tonight. A 50% chance of thunderstorms lows down to 69. In the five-day forecast tomorrow, a 40% chance of thunderstorms. A slight chance of rain on Thursday with highs in the upper 80s. We have more news on our website, all at WTIUnews.org.